Hey, this is Sonny from Jax. We are in Jax in Blux, Mississippi. And we are fixing to open up one of two CBCS returns. Now this particular send-off was sent off in June of 2021. Yes, June of 2021. By no, uh, you know, uh, part of me sending it slow, it took nine months to get back from CBCS. I sent it in June of last year, it arrived three days later in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Three days. And then it took nine months to return to us. So this is one of the first ones. So if you have a submissions from June to July last year, you may get it back in this video or the next video. All right, here we go. Now, normally I have a partner with me, but uh, they're all busy. They're either playing video games or watching basketball games, one or the other. So I'm here by myself to do my little video. So bear with me. I usually have an assistant that helps me move stuff around and talk about stuff, but you're just gonna have me to talk about it. All right, here it is. First box out the door. Right. I think the submission's only about 18 or, or so. Um, submissions so if you see it in here it's yours i'm fixing to text you probably tomorrow telling you i'm sending it to you so i'll be packing tonight tonight is sunday the uh the third of uh the third of april i just got these back the other day I didn't have time to crack open and do a video, so I'm doing it now. Let me go ahead and crack the other one open so we talk about it all one time. If you out there in uh, YouTube land want to do a video with me talking about box opening stuff, just message me. Drop me a note. Uh, maybe you can be on the next video that we box open talking about comic books. I'd be happy to allow new people to do it since my regular guys are so busy driving trucks, watching basketball games, or playing video games at home, I need somebody else to sit beside me and talk about comic books. All right, so now I got my two stacks done. All right, we got here, get out the way. All right. Here's the paperwork. I'll marry that up later. All right, let's see what we got. The first stack, looks like we got this uh, foil cover berserk, 9.8. Woohoo! 9.8, foil cover berserk. I got another regular cover berserk, number one, um, 9.8. Woohoo! Two 9.8s back to back. I got a virgin cover berserk, 9.4. Woohoo! 9.4 berserk. All right, now this is the uh, another alternate foil cover berserk number one. This is probably going to be the um, Boom Studios. Uh, what kind of variant? Foil variant? This is ten four one. So this must be um, man cover ten, which is A B C D E F G H I J. This is J cover. Um, looks like fourth printing, uh, number one, but it doesn't say fourth printing on it, but by the numbers, 10, 4, 1, I would say it is fourth printing. All right. So someone owns this Deadpool number one, 9.2. Not, not bad. Uh, it's got a couple of tick marks in it while I send it off. If I remember right, this is first appearance of Dr. Kilbrew. There you go. Whoever owns that, come back and pick it up, or I'll send it to you. All right, we have DC Special number 29. Uh, original, origin, and of Justice Society of America retold. Hitler cover appearance. I am pretty sure that someone got this done because of the Hitler cover appearance. All right. And we have a Berserk version, number 9.6. We have a Berserk regular, 9.4. Another Berserk regular cover, 9.8. Uh, this is going to be probably 
probably the uh, the B cover. This is number two. No. All right. This is a foil berserk, 9.8. All right. Let's go to something besides berserk. Amazing Adventures featuring the X-Men, number one. Now, this is a newsstand version. It's 8.0. Now, this is uh, the, probably the reprint of X-Men number one, right? Also reprints X-Men number 38. So, it has a double reprint uh, for the Amazing Adventures. I guess it takes, uh, you know, most of the advertising out to get those two reprints in there, okay? All right, someone entered this Amazing Spider-Man uh, foil cover first, full appearance of Carnage, three, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 361. Here it is, 9.0. These foil covers are hard to get uh, in high grades unless you were really, really careful with them. All right, so Giant Size Defenders number three, which is First Prince of Kovac. Giant Size Defenders number three, First Prince of Kovac. It also reprints Submariner number 38 and reprints Strange Tales number 120. So it's a double reprint issue. That's what it is. All right. This is Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe number one. Um... It's got some full page ads for Journey Mystery number 462 and Wolverine 312 and two page ad for X-Men Avengers. So 9.4 Deadman Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe. Alright. Somebody really likes Deadpool, number 23. This is the Aliens homage cover, 9.8. I'm not sure who sent this in. I gotta look at my notes. I bring these written down. But it came back good. 9.8 for Deadpool number 23. So if it's your book. Uh, congratulations for getting 9.8 in that book. All right, that's first stack. Second stack is over here. All right, something killing the children, number 17. Glow in the dark variant, 9.8. There you go. That's what you want, 9.8, glow in the dark variant. Something killing the children, number 17. All right. We also got some paperwork, I guess. Paperwork. I don't know what we got paperwork for. Okay. Mm. All right, Yusagi Ujimbo, number 20, first appearance of Yakichi Yamato. Yakichi Yamato. Not sure who that is. I am a Yusagi fan. I just don't read all the books. Uh, there you go. Yusagi Ujimbo, number 20, 9.6. All right, Thor, number annual 18. First appearance and origin of Flame. All right. It's got three stories in it. Forge and Fire, The Flame Rekindled, and Stormbreaker. So, apparently it has Stormbreaker in it, too. Yeah, Thor annual number 18. Direct edition, 9.8. These annual type editions with the square bindings were really hard to get 9.8. I mean, you could look on the shelf. You could... Look at different stores, they got bent corners, bent sides, the fold was wrong, so it's very, very difficult to get a 9.8 in a folded square bound book in that era. All right, let's go talk about some turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one, first appearance of Old Hob. This is the 2011 version of IDW. It came back in 9.2 with a check mark. 9.2 with a check mark, mm -hmm. which means it possibly probably looks better than the grade which means sometimes you can press it and get a better grade sometimes it just looks better than the grade it is you know what I'm saying so it probably presents better 9.2 but it just got 9.2 all right let's see what we got we got TNA Tale of the Titans number 42 which first appearance of Joseph Wilson later becomes Jericho in cameo so first appearance of Jericho 9.2 mm-hmm Let's see who this is. This is going to be Static Season 1, Number 1. Um, like a hot, hot streak appearance. Right? See it great? 9.8. Whatever it was, it's probably going to be $100. All right. Let's look at this. First appearance of Photon, which is Jason Dean. Uh, Nova number 12, 8.5. Nova number 12 at 8.5. All right. 
Let's look at some Star Lord. This is Marvel Premiere number 61, which is the last issue of Marvel Premiere, but it's also a Star Lord appearance. So a lot of Marvel Premiere had a Premiere had a bunch of first appearances early on, like um, Moon Knight and such. But um, this is 61, it's 7.5. Again, it has a check mark by it. So it probably presents better than the grade. Right? 7.5. All right, Marvel Age, direct edition. He-Man on the cover, right? It's an 8.0. It's got a check mark also. So the grading notes will tell you what you can do with it. Um, I would just live with it. Even if you got 8.5 later on, it's not going to make a difference. It's not gonna, definitely not going to be no 9.8. All right, Magic number two. Shap character design variant. Magic number two. 9.8. I'm not sure who sent this in, but... Congrats, getting to 9.8. Jupiter's Legacy, number one Requiem. This is a gold foil version. I believe this is the one point, this is one of the store version. So every store got one of these gold foil versions, right? Uh, 9.8, gold foil means it was untouched. So it made it all the way to Dallas Fort Worth and back without getting dinged. It is a really nice foil cover. I try to pack it well enough so you ain't gonna lose any grades on the way there. Otherwise, we never get 9.8s, you know. Star Wars, Kane in the last uh, Padawan, number one, 9.4, still 500 bucks at 9.4. All right, here you go. Holy man. Jeez. Spawn number 319. This is a regular Spawn book, too. Number 319. Todd McFarlane black and white variant. I'm not sure who's sending this in, but you're going to be happy because you get a 9 9. Woo! Spawn number 319, 9 9. I don't even know what it's worth. I'm sure a 9 9 is going to bring at least 100 bucks. All right. So we also got Spawn number 318, the issue before it, at a modest 9.8. So you probably did okay with the 9.8 anyway. And I think whoever sent this book in. Set the 9-9 in together, then you got a good pair. You know what I'm saying? Good luck there. And the trilogy, here's 313. Uh, well, you know, there's a ding on it somewhere because they only got 9.0. You know what I'm saying? 9.0. But, you know, you can't help it with this little tick mark on the bottom right here. It looks like a factory tick mark. It doesn't look like it got damaged anywhere during shipping or nothing like that. Uh, sometimes the factory tick marks, you know, ding it. Uh, there's also a little stress on the fold, and that's probably a factory stress mark on the fold right here. You can see a little wear on the fold. That's probably just the way it was folded, and it became a, a, a stress mark. There's no dings. There's no tick marks on the, the columns. Uh, the corners look look good. There's a little rub on the bottom here, and the stress on the side, that's probably what it did. If I look at my greater notes, that's probably what it is. All right, so... If any of those books belong to you, come see me, or you're going to hear from me soon. I will text you, and I will send them off to you, or if you're a local, you can come pick them up. Again, this is uh, Sonny from Jack's, and uh, this is the first of two CBCS videos for March, no, I take it back, April 3rd, 2022.